Hi, I'm Ted Wodoslowski with C3 Controls. In this video, we'll be discussing the most common trip curves for circuit protection devices. Trip curves, or time current curves, can be an intimidating topic. I know it's intimidated me in the past. But let's go ahead and break it down so we can better understand the concept of trip curves. First, what is a circuit protection device? Well, circuit protection devices are employed to protect wires and electrical equipment from damage in the event of electrical overload, short circuit, or ground fault. Things such as a lightning storm or a sudden electrical surge can cause a dangerous situation to equipment and personal safety. A circuit protection device, then, is designed to eliminate this risk even before it occurs. So let's dive to the next question. What exactly is a trip curve? Simply put, studying this will tell you how this behaves. Trip curves, then, are graphs that are provided by the manufacturer, which represents the expected behavior of a circuit protection device. There are many different forms that these devices come in. For this video, we're referring to UL489 and UL1077 devices. The most common trip curves are B curve, C curve, and D curve, all of which C3 carries. B curves are specialized for resistive and slightly inductive loads, such as lightning and coils. C curves have a low thermal trip delay and a mid-range magnetic trip function to protect against low inrush current motors, resistive loads, and control circuits. D curves have a high thermal trip delay and a very high magnetic trip point to protect high inrush current motors, heaters, transformers, and inductive loads while preventing a false trip. We need different types of trip curves because circuit breakers must be able to trip quick enough to avoid equipment or wiring failure, but not so fast as to give a false or a nuisance trip. To avoid nuisance trips, circuit breakers need to be sized appropriately to compensate for inrush current. Neiman defines instantaneous peak inrush as the momentary current transient that occurs immediately within half of an AC cycle after contact closure. Inrush current is what causes the lights to dim in your house when a motor such as that on a closed dryer or vacuum cleaner starts up. Let's break down how an MCB actually works now. To understand a trip curve, it's helpful to understand how a miniature circuit breaker or overcurrent protection device functions. Let's take a look at the inside of a miniature circuit breaker. With both a bimetallic strip and a magnetic coil or solenoid, a miniature circuit breaker can be two separate types of circuit breaker in one. The bimetallic strip provides overload protection in response to smaller overcurrents, typically up to 10 times the operating current. The metallic strip consists of two strips of different metals formed together, which expand at different rates as they are heated. In an overload situation, the bimetallic strip bends, and this movement actuates a trip mechanism and breaks or opens the circuit. The strip then converts a temperature change into a mechanical displacement. Now, the magnetic coil or solenoid reacts to fast, higher overcurrents caused by short circuits, typically greater than 10 times the operating current, and up to tens or hundreds of thousands of amperes. The higher current causes a magnetic field to be generated by the coil, moving the internal piston quickly within microseconds to trip the actuator mechanism and break the circuit. The top of the chart shows the thermal trip curve for the bimetallic strip. It tells us that at 1.5 times the rate of current, the quickest a circuit breaker will trip is 40 seconds. 40 seconds at 2 times the rate of current is the slowest a circuit breaker will trip. The bottom of the chart is for the magnetic trip of the coil or solenoid. At 0.02 to 2.5 seconds at 3 times the rate of current, that's the soonest a circuit breaker is going to trip. The same duration, 0.02 to 2.5 seconds at 5 times the rate of current, is the longest it will take the circuit breaker to trip. The area shaded in between is known as the tripping zone. Important, trip curves represent the predicted behavior of circuit breaker in a cold state or ambient room temperature. A cold state is when the bimetallic strip is within the specified ambient operating temperature for the breaker. If the breaker has experienced a recent thermal trip and has not cooled down, it may trip sooner. Let's put it all together. This figure puts these concepts into a clearer picture. Take special note of the tripping zone where the circuit breaker may or may not trip. The three most common trip curves from miniature circuit breakers are B, C, and D. But putting all three on one chart, we can see how the thermal portion of the curves are similar to each other, but there are differences in how the magnetic coil or solenoid, and thus the circuit breaker functions. In summary, circuit protection is employed to protect wires and electric equipment from damage in the event of an electrical overload, short circuit, or ground fault. Lightning storms, overloaded power circuits, or sudden electrical surge may result in a dangerous situation with the potential to cause fires, equipment damage, or damage to people. 
Circuit protection is designed to eliminate this risk before it occurs by cutting off power to the circuit. Choosing the correct chip curve for your application provides reliable circuit protection. Chip curves predict the behavior of circuit protection devices in both slower, smaller overcurrent conditions and larger, faster overcurrent conditions. Circuit protection is designed to eliminate the risk of equipment damage or personal energy before it occurs by cutting off the power to the circuit. To learn more or to download the companion white paper to this video, go to c3controls.com forward slash mcb. Thank you very much and have a great day from C3 Controls.